Well, mwah, Oshante, beautiful people, mwah, Oshante, welcome, welcome on this beautiful Saturday. I get to see you again, don't I? Mwah, I told you. Oh, welcome to the Trent's channel. I am, as always, the Trent baby, the Trent who loves you, Oshante, Oshante, baby. I told you, didn't I? I told you as much as I could I would try to get new content out. So we're doing another video today. We're doing a, a special video today. This is for, uh, you're going to have to excuse my voice. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on here, guys. The Trent might, might be getting a little bit of a cold. God, I hope not. Sucking down the vitamin C, drinking the orange juice taking the multivitamins, you know, doing all those things. But I can kind of hear it, kind of hear it in the voice. It's, it's even more, it's even more Muppety today, isn't it? Enchanté, enchanté. Anyway, guess what? Two of my friends, Mr. Jason Cobb had made a request for uh, us to try Carl's Jr. today. And we are doing, let me tell you what we're doing today. Two things. We're doing two things today, ladies and gentlemen. One is from my friend Walter, and one is from my friend Jason. And Jason had suggested that we go to Carl's Jr., which I did a review for. Go back and watch that if you want to see it. It's with Le Jordan and I. But Jason had requested that we take a look at and review their Santa Fe chicken sandwich. And also their waffle fries, which are quite good here. So we're going to do... Carl's Jr. today. I want to take a look at their Santa Fe chicken sandwich. And we're going to take a look at their waffle fries. And for my friend Walter, we went back to Wendy's because in our review for Wendy's a few days ago, they did not do the ghost pepper. They did not do the ghost pepper nugs like they said they would. So we got the ghost pepper nuggets. I made sure they did. And we also got the buffalo. We also got the buffalo nugs. Or as I like to say, nuggets, because nugs is stupid. Okay? It just sounds stupid. And it sounds odd. So we got the ghost pepper nuggets and we got the um, buffalo nuggets. And also we got some dipping sauces that they should have included the first time, but they didn't. So we got both of those things to review and we're going to do those right now. Um, yeah, so... Happy to see you, and I'm going to see you tomorrow on Father's Day as well. Like I said, listen, we'll try to do as much content. You guys have been great with the comments, and you guys have been very, very supportive and wanting to see more uh, uh, videos like this. More videos from the trend, right, huh? Uh, listen, I need your help, guys. I know you keep, I keep harping on it. Oh, I harping. Harp, Harper Valley PTA. Remember that show, Barbara Eden? Um, I know I keep kind of like talking about it, but the only way that I can really do more videos is that if we start doing this full time. And that's where I need your help, and I need it badly. I need you to really subscribe if you haven't, to like the videos, uh, ring, punch, bash, kick the, the bell for notifications, but mostly, mostly subscribe. And for selfish reasons, please leave me a comment because I love them so much. I love reading them and I love responding responding to them. Some of them are so funny. I think they are so creative. You guys, you guys, magnifique with the comments. So, but like and like and subscribe, subscribe, please. Get your friends to subscribe. Get your family members to subscribe. They probably think I'm a lunatic, but uh, yeah, please do that. We got to get to that thousand mark. We got. Good watch hours going on. We get to that thousand mark. We get monetized. We're going full time, baby. We go full time. We get some merch out with uh, some maybe some hats that say Enchanté on them, some t-shirts. I was thinking about, let me know what you think of this, doing like a little character drawing, you know, with the pulled back hair and the glasses and the forehead and the face and the hand motion doing this, you know, and the, Something like that with the with the altered cheekbone. <laughs> Nelly, 
Whoa Nelly, baby. Something with Whoa Nelly on it. You like that expression? That's one of my personal favorites. Well, I don't know. We'll come up with something, you know. You know, something that people like, you know. Hats. Uh, hats. T-shirts. Assless chaps. You know. Those things. Let's get the food review, all right? All right. First of all, let's talk some prices here. The Santa Fe chicken sandwich from Carl's Jr., where we're at today. Then we'll go into the Wendy's because Wendy's going to be a little hot. So, Santa Fe chicken sandwich for the combo because Jason, Mr. Jason Cobb, good guy, very smart man, excellent manager. I won't go into details about how I knew him because I didn't ask him, but uh, I've known him for a while. And so, good guy, good guy. This is for you, Jason. Um, this is a combo piece because we try, we're trying the waffle fries. So the, the Santa Fe chicken sandwich, the waffle fries, and the Coke Zero came to a total of $13.69. So let me tell you what this is. The Santa Fe chicken sandwich is a charbroiled chicken breast, melted American cheese, mild green chili, lettuce, Santa Fe sauce on a potato bun. Potato buns and me are... We're okay. Not my favorite, but we, we shall see. 550 calories. The waffle fries have 380 calories in them. And we'll go from there. Now let's try, let's try if we may, the waffle fries first. They did not give me any ketchup. They weren't the particularly the friendliest here when I went in there today. I seemed like I was more of an inconvenience than anything at the Oregon City Carl's Jr. here today, but that's fine. No ketchup, no dipping sauce for this, so we are going into this naked. Now, these are very large waffle fries. I want to show these to you. Very large, a bit robust. They're warm. They are. Let's give these a try, shall we? Let's indulge with a 380 calorie waffle fry from Carl's Jr. Let's try. Okay, we're indulging. First of all, don't have any ketchup with them, which I love. Second of all, they're delicious. They are. These are good. Do not need any salt, which is so nice to me. Mmm. Those are darn good. Let's try one more of these because those are really good. Not too greasy. Obviously, we're here early, like I try to go to all these fast food places. Very nice. Very nice. Good flavor. Not too crispy. Do not taste like they've been under a heat lamp. I did have to wait a couple of minutes, which tells me that they were making it. I like that. Good flavor. Good flavor on those. Let's get to the sandwich here. Got the um, Let's take a look at this. Oh, this is very saucy here, guys. Let's take a look at this Santa Fe. We've got the pepper here. You can obviously see the pepper, the American cheese, the lettuce. Sauce on that, love it, nice. Bun is nice and warm, I like that the lettuce is not. The cheese is not real melted, but slightly, it's warm. Warm to the touch. Look at that inside there. So again, you got the Carl's Jr. Charbroiled Santa Fe with the, um, yeah, dripping all over the $100,000 Jeep here. Oh, God. All right. Let's get in here. 
Let's give this a try. The old Santa Fe. Santa Fe, if you will. Carl's Jr., I'm gonna give you a try, baby. Indulge. Trusty towel here. By the way, La Cherie wanted me to tell all of you hello. Hope that you're all doing well. Oh man. Mmm. Okay, we got some flavor going on here, baby. Yeah, this is nice. Bun. This potato bun is different. It's not real strong. It's not real pungent. That lettuce is nice. It's iceberg. Kind of on the fence with iceberg. I prefer green leaf. That's me. This is nice on it, though. That chicken is really charbroiled. That's the taste that hits you first on it, is the charbroiled chicken. Uh, that American cheese is nice. This sauce is amazing on it. I have noticed that the times that I have come to Carl's Jr., I have noticed that their sauce that they put on their sandwiches, their hamburgers and things like that, is incredible. The sauce is fantastic on this. That chicken is absolutely delicious. That really is. This is really good. It's got some heat to it. Not a lot though. And it's not it's it's not a heat that hits you in the back of the throat. This is a heat that hits you right up front. It does. It hits you right up front. Stays for a little while. That pepper on this it's a, it's a, I believe it's, yeah, it's a, it's a full on pepper that's on here. And it really adds to it, adds really nice flavor to it. This whole thing marries really well, guys. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to recommend this highly. And I'm going to recommend it with the waffle fries. I think this is something. I think this is something that you guys are really going to enjoy. I also got this with the with the um, it came with the Coke Zero for the 1360. They asked me if I wanted to round up a dollar for the military families, and I did. So it was 1460 altogether. So. But Jason, Mr. Jason. That was a really good recommendation. That is something, you know, everything fast food is rather expensive. Thirteen sixty for a combination like that, it's pretty much standard anymore, guys. It's pretty much what you're going to be dealing with. But, nice. Very nice. Scale of 1 to 10. Um, I don't, I think Lushery is not watching, so we can say this is a 10. The, the trans face is a 10, of course. Scale went to 10. Um, fast food wise, chicken sandwich like that. Overall, um, taste wise, uh, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I'm going to give it. An, uh, what are my criticisms of it? Do I have criticisms of it? Um, there was a charbroil taste to it. Uh, I'm not a real fan of iceberg lettuce. I could have done without the iceberg lettuce on it, exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be critical of that because it all married really well. The flavors were really good. I'm going to give it a 9. I really am. I'm going to give that a solid 9. That was really, really good. Mm, magnifique, Jason. Thank you for that recommendation. Very nice. The waffle flies, fantastic. Highly seasoned. All together, good 9. 
Carl's Jr., very good. Try the Santa Fe charbroiled chicken sandwich. Try the combo. Get the waffle fries. Let me know what you think. I think you'll like it. So, thank you. All right. So, onward. Onward to our next review. Now we pay some time to my good friend, Mr. Walter. Mr. Walter. Please tell me there is a fork in this. Yes, there is. We are trying because the other day we did Wendy's. They did not put the ghost pepper uh, in in our uh, when, when we tried to, we, we we they ended up giving us the the parmesan right instead of the ghost pepper. I did not particularly like the parmesan because I'm not a fan of that. So that's what they gave us. The, the the nuggets are pretty good. They're not bad. They also didn't give us any of the ranch dressing. That's supposed to be like the adjacent, the the adjunct, the complement to it. They did this time, thank goodness. Uh, again, my, one of my criticisms of Wendy's is the inconsistency with what sometimes you get a hold of people that give you the the things that's supposed to come with it. Most of the times you don't, right? Um, again, when you go and get these at Wendy's. Prepare for them not to be marked. So your guess is as good as mine as what you're getting. Like if you're gonna try like all, all four of the flavors, the buffalo, the chicken parm, the ghost pepper, the honey barbecue, if you're gonna try these, and then they all come spicy by the way with the exception of the ghost pepper. If you're gonna try those, uh, prepare for them not to be marked, you know? Prepare for, they're not going to put a G, P on there for ghost pepper. They're not going to put a B on there for buffalo. You're just going to have to guess. So, that's kind of annoying. So, these nuggets for a four-piece are three nineteen dollars each. You know? Um, so, it was a total for these two of $6.38 for this at Wendy's. So, let's get right to it. Let me try to guess which one this is. I have no idea. None. I'm going to assume that's buffalo. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try this. I think this is ghost pepper. Not really that saucy. I don't see hardly. Now it's dripping again all over the $150,000 Jeep. Good God. The sauce is poor Jeep. Son of a... All right. Really not that saucy. These are not that saucy, guys. Give a little taste. Kind of sticking together here. Got these early, so no, your excuses are your own, Wendy's, if these aren't good. Sauce is coagulated on the bottom. Some on, some on them, but not a lot. I'm assuming this is ghost pepper. Ghost pepper, Wendy's, let's indulge. I'm not gonna put any ranch on these because ranch is gonna dilute that. I don't know what that was. I. Guys, I don't know what that was. There's no heat. There is a little heat now. I'm not going to use the ranch on these. I didn't use the ranch on the other. Yeah, there's heat now. That's the ghost pepper. Not that hot. There is heat. Heat's gone. Flavor is a bit, flavor in all honesty is a bit sour. Those ghost pepper nuggets tasted like a very sour hot. Not very saucy, sour hot. Did not like those. That's a pass. Again, here we go. Not saucy. Look at these. Now, they're promoting these Wendy's as saucy nugs. Does that look saucy to you guys? That looks coated, 
it looks colored. It don't look saucy. Let's give these a try. Those are the buffalo. These are actually a little better. Are those the buffalo? Those are substantially hotter. Guys, I think that, whoa! Whoa, Lord! I'm stuck in Iota again. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Whoa! That's hot. Okay. That. Whoa! <clears throat> that must be the ghost pepper. That is hot. Whoa, Nelly. Uh, yeah. Mm. That has heat, baby. That has heat. I gotta, I gotta drink a little of this down, brother. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's heat. There's some heat there. There's, there's, there's definitely some heat on those. Yeah, a lot of heat. <clears throat> uh, overall. Yeah, I don't like the ghost. I don't like the ghost pepper. It's 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 got a there's there's not a lot of flavor. There, I mean, there is flavor. Yeah, wow, that's hot. That's one of the hotter things I've. It's kind of an unpleasant hot though. Um, it's that's a lot of heat there. Disappointed in the level of sauciness on that. I think that you guys can see there's not a lot of sauce on what I ordered. Let me know what you think of those. If you like really, really hot, <clears throat> that ghost pepper, I think you might like. I don't like those. Um, the buffalo, nah, -uh. that was that was sour tasting. Had some heat, but it tasted sour. The ghost pepper, I'm assuming that was ghost pepper because of the heat. Very, very hot. Um, it was okay. Certainly not reinventing the wheel here, guys. Um, on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give those a. I'm gonna give those uh, their nuggets. Maybe I'm gonna give them a four. Those two that I had here today uh, were okay. Um, I'm not recommending them though. On a scale of one to ten, I'm giving those a four. Out of the nuggets that I've had, my favorite ones that I had were the honey barbecue. Those would be the ones that I would recommend on those. So the, 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 the buffalo and the ghost pepper, I'm personally not recommending those. If you have to have these, overall I'm saying, you know what, skip these saucy nuggets at Wendy's. I don't, I don't think they're worth, worth the trip. Try them if you want to. Let me know in the comments what you think. They're certainly not writing, reinventing the wheel for, for the Trent baby by any means. So that's my thing. Go to Carl's Jr. Try the Santa Fe combo, magnifique. Skip Wendy's. But if you do go there, let me know what you think and leave the comments. And let me know what your opinion about it was. So here we go with another review in the books, baby. But guess what? I'll see you tomorrow on tomorrow's Father's Day. And guess what? The Trent loves you, baby. As the great Elvis Presley said in 1977, we will meet you again. May God bless you. Adios. Until tomorrow. I love you. Mwah.